When working on something in Blender, it's easy to get carried away working on overly detailed and complex projects. It's at this time when it's most important to remember the importance of simplicity. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Grant and I'm the host of Remington Graphics, and today I'm going to challenge your creativity. Over the past few weeks, I've been working on a routine to improve my own creativity and improve my outside of the box thinking skills. I've decided to start calling this the Remington Graphics Simplicity Challenge and I'd like to invite you guys to join me. Well Grant, how do I join you? Well, it's really simple. First, open up Blender. Second, delete absolutely everything in your scene. Third, add a sphere and you're good to go. From then on, you're free to do whatever you like as long as that sphere is the only geometry included in your project. You can create super fancy PVR materials, or really fancy HDRI lighting, or particle systems, or whatever you wish, but you cannot have any extra geometry in your scene other than that sphere. Then, after you hit render and you're proud of it, go to Twitter or Instagram and post your image using the hashtag RGSimplicity. In a week from now, on Saturday, September 2nd, I'll be posting another video with some of my favorite submissions that I got using that hashtag. And if your submission really stands out above everyone else's, I might even throw in a little prize. I don't know what it'll be yet, but I'm sure it'll be something awesome. Anyway, if I were you, I'd get started right now so you guys don't miss the opportunity to do this. It's a really great challenge and I've seen a lot of really great things come out of it. Additionally, if you know anybody that would be interested in completing this challenge, <laughs> big Blender YouTubers, <laughs> uh, it would be really awesome if you guys could tag them or share this video with them to maybe get them on board as well so that they can maybe challenge their own creativity. I'm going to leave you guys with a few different renders I did using this same single sphere technique. Hopefully you guys can draw some inspiration from it or at least use it as a baseline for your own creations. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Adios!